what's up my babes welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers who joined the family thank you guys for joining and get ready for some videos to be dropping y'all because y'all really did y'all thing subscribe and i'm so excited and i want to thank you all so very 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 much because i really appreciate it and you know we're just gonna grow even more so let's get right to this video <laughs> title today we do another freaking reaction video what because i know y'all really love that last video y'all really love 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 because y'all show out on that video y'all blew it up and even more gonna get blown up in this thing because we going up and that boosted my confidence so much so i'm gonna start dropping for real you know what i'm saying if i blow this video up too i'm definitely gonna start dropping even though it's a little it, it looks like a little to y'all, but it's a lot to me because I came a long freaking way to see 160 freaking with subscribers. And you know what's next? 200 subs. So y'all run that thing up right now. Subscribe right now if you haven't already. And let's get right into this video. All right, y'all. Let's start it. Welcome back to another episode on Jack TV. Britt wanted to put her boyfriend Danny to the loyalty test to see if he was truly loyal to her or not. Basically, I came up to this test because his whole vibe just changed. He started acting different. I called him a couple lies. His phone would be ringing. I stopped in the middle of the night. He was saying he going to work for you. Come over the next day. You got a whole list there. Yeah. So, you guys, for today's test, we had a lot to work with. Thanks to Britt, we knew that Danny's birthday was in two days. So, I thought it would be a good idea to use that to our advantage. We knew we helped Britt come up with a gift to give Danny as an early birthday gift. It wouldn't raise any suspicion. So, that's exactly how we engaged our test. We rented out an entire spa facility to see if Britt's boyfriend Danny was truly loyal to her or not. We hired our good friend Nancy to pretend to be the receptionist and work the front desk so she can give him instruction on where to go. And our friend Fancy to play the decoy. Now, what Danny doesn't know, while Fancy is giving him the massage of his life, the whole team and Britt will be right down the hall in the green room, set up as our command center, watching the entire thing from a live feed we set up. Thank you guys for DMing me. I do read you guys' DMs. I just have a whole list of people that I have to get back with. I have no specific order in which I reach back out to people inquiring about a loyalty test. Just make sure that you're 100% serious when you're DMing me about a loyalty test so you're not wasting anybody's time that actually need help. But this in particular person stood out to me, so I'm about to read you guys her message. This is exactly what she said. Hey, my name is Ty. I really need you to help me catch my boyfriend cheating. I watch all your videos, so I don't need to test him. Like, I know he's cheating 100%. We can... All right, hold on, y'all, because the fact that these women be having to put their boyfriends on loyalty tests just to find, it, find out if they cheating on them is crazy to me. Like, like y'all got to do better. Y'all men got to do better, like, with y'all ladies. Like, if y'all want to be in a relationship, be serious about it. Don't be playing with the lady, like, because we, we don't got time for all of that. Like, y'all really be trying to play us. Can meet. I'm so serious. I live in Houston, so please text me back. And I instantly responded with, Hi, Ty, can you give me a little bit of detail? She didn't respond with, So ever since COVID, me and my boyfriend and my best friend has been living together to make things easier on each other. My best friend ended up losing her job permanently because they closed down her job. So my boyfriend helped her get on at his job, and ever since, she has not been right. Yeah, that was definitely a red flag, like, your boyfriend helping your best friend get on with his job? Like, what was the purpose of that? Like, why you couldn't help her get on with a different job? Like, why it gotta be your job? Right, I found a condom in our toilet. Like, he was trying to flush it. Not in the toilet. Y'all be trying to flush. Okay. Y'all, that's the most dumbest thing you could ever do. Like, why would you put it in the toilet? And you, out of all things. You couldn't throw it outside. You couldn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta put it in the toilet. Like, it was like he was trying to get caught. Like, that's the most dumb thing ever. But it didn't go down. I didn't say anything because I didn't want to stir shit up without having enough proof. But I'm telling you, they are up to no good. Sorry for this long message. I can go all day, but this is not half of what I've had to deal with. I then responded with, damn, sorry to hear that. If you want to meet me, I'm available tonight around 8 or 9, whichever works for you. She then said, 
that works. My boyfriend and best friend will be at work, so that's perfect. I told her I'll send her the address in about an hour, and I look forward to meeting her. She said, thank you, and I said, no problem. So I went ahead and I gathered a few people from my team, and I went out and I met Ty. Hello. Hello, yeah, where you at? I'm at the location, but it's a gate. I can't get in the gate. Nah, it's not a gate. I'm about to come out to the front, yeah. Okay. Just to give you a heads up, we're already filming. Okay. What you driving? Well, Today's video was different from any other loyalty test I've done so far, and here's why. Usually when people reach out to me, they are at least 50% unsure if their significant other is loyal to them or not. But for Ty, that's not the case at all. She says she know her boyfriend is cheating on her with her best friend, 100%. How you doing? Hey, hey. Nice to meet you. So this is my team or whatever. Nice to meet you. Me too. So, um, we can get straight to it. So just give me kind of a rundown of what's going on. I know that he's cheating on me, honestly. Um, I know that they're sleeping together. And she been over friendly with me too. Like, I just feel like she's been real hee hee. Oh, you about to go? Like, you know, trying to make sure that I'm gonna leave. So I just, I know they're cheating. I just need to catch them. Ever since COVID hit, she lost her 24 hour fit. So she know they're cheating, but she just need to catch them. Like, okay, I get it. I get it. She wants to just catch them in the act. So she want to just be looking stupid. And she ain't got no evidence or no proof of her. So, yeah. In this job. So, we're all just living together, splitting the bills, type of thing. Like, we're roommates. He basically helped her find a job at his job. So, now they kind of work the same schedule. So, But the crazy thing is, I watched this already. And this girl is very pretty. And the girl that, his, her best friend, and the girl that he cheated on her with. Mm-mm, baby. Y'all gonna see. Now, when I'm home, I'm by myself. When I leave, they're together. It's just like... So, now, it's like they spending more time together with each other than... Exactly. How do you cope with that? I don't. That's why I'm here. If you do pass the test, can I use the footage? For sure. Million dollar question. I think Because so. as of lately, nobody wants me to use the footage that they pass. Obviously, if you fail, you don't want me to use the footage, but I just have to ask that question. No, like, you can use it. I'm, I, don't, I don't know. We're going to see. Oh, I, you can use it for sure. Okay. So for today's video, there's no need for a decoy because Ty was 100% sure that her best friend and her boyfriend were sleeping together. The only thing is she had no proof. So that's where I came in. Because Zai and Mark's schedule was pretty much aligned because he helped her get on at his job and they worked identical shifts. All that needed to be done was us to go in while they were at work and Ty was at home by herself so we can go ahead and set the cameras up. These are not the best quality cameras. I had to go find the smallest cameras because they have to sit in their positions for a very long time without either Zai or Mark seeing them. It's Tuesday. You already know what that means. Taco Tuesday. Hey, yeah, I always got you. Always got you. So, Taco Tuesday. to the car where she's able to watch everything that goes on in the house and both but the thing is that was another red flag you leaving her like you 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 leave her with your with your boyfriend like why would you leave your best friend with your boyfriend i understand they live together but like what do you expect like i don't know both of them are being put to the test <laughs> I'm talking to him. Bro, you I swear to God. So, like, they definitely been up to something. Like, it shows right here. Once she left, 
they started doing a little, you know, getting together, you know. And I'm like, mm -mm. this is why you can't trust these girls. She, she just walked outside. You might want to hurry up and put these on. Look. Already? Get the fuck out. This motherfucker owe her lap. Oh, hell no. This is baby. This is baby. They about to go to the room. Hell no, my nigga not finna be going to the room. We get left. They about to go to the room. Hell no, my nigga not finna be going to the room. <laughs> That's crazy. First of all, that's your that's her nigga decision. Like, we can go. Come on, we finna go. They just pissing me off. Is it me or did they not waste no time at all? He done, he, he done for, he already know. He ain't even gonna argue back and forth with her. He, he just gonna sit there and just like, that's the fact I don't get. Like, y'all know, like, once the girl catch y'all, y'all just be looking stupid. Like, y'all deserve the ad whooping. Like, y'all know that. You wait till I leave? I specifically made sure. Look at her. Do you mind if I use the footage? You wanna film my fucking this this shit hurt me right now. You wanna put this shit out? I mean <laughs> Can I use the footage? For sure. Can I use the footage? For sure. You That's... said you was gonna help me figure out what the fuck going on. You didn't say you go this embarrassing. Nah. That's my best friend. Alright y'all, so I'm gonna stop it right there. Like as y'all can see, like this is what happens in real life. Like real life. It is so crazy to me that this happened in real life that your best friend really see that's not where I don't got no friends. I'm glad because I ain't gotta worry about none of that, you know. I'm good on that. So anyways y'all right now subscribe y'all and show your love and I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.